I'm doing this video on ranking um, ranking some silver coins, I guess popular silver, one ounce silver coins. Um, looking at them maybe a little differently than I have in some previous videos. Um, but looking at the silver eagle, the maple leaf, the panda, Britannia, Philharmonics, the koala kookaburra, and the Fiji taku. Okay, so first of all, each of them have a, a metal value. So they have a certain amount of ounces in them, and then which I multiply by the, what is this? This is the spot price of silver in this cell in my spreadsheet, which is currently around $16.06 .06 per troy ounce. So you get metal values of, you know, each of these are roughly 0.999 um, one ounce coins. Now the maple leaf is 0.9999, so its metal value is just a little bit higher. Um, then I look at the face value of the coin in dollars. So I need to know for, well, for Silver Eagle it's a dollar, US dollars. Maple leaf, it's five Canadian dollars. So this cell has the value, has the current conversion rate from Canadian to US dollars. So five Canadian dollars is currently worth $4.02 um, US dollars. Likewise, for the Chinese panda, it has a value of 10 yuan, and then the conversion from 1 yuan to US dollar is in this cell, CG26 in my spreadsheet. So 10 yuan is worth $1.61 US dollars um, currently. So I do the same thing for the Britannia, the Philharmonic, uh, Koala Kukubura, and the, the Taku, uh, Fiji Taku. So you need to know the spot price of silver to get this. And to get this, you need to know the exchange rate from whatever denomination and face value to US dollars. And so the leader in this column also is the maple leaf. Um, and I have a total value, which I simply add this cell plus this cell. So for example, say the face value of the maple leaf was just $1. Let's see what happens. Let's just pretend. Okay, then the winner would be the Britannia because it might have a lower metal value than the maple leaf. It has a higher face value and it has what I would call a higher total value. So that's kind of the logic. Well, then I simply take the rank of this total value and rank it based on the other total values to get um, you know, maple leaf as the overall winner. And I highlight, again, I highlight in green what's the winner for that column. Um, the second colon I would recommend in this ranking is the Britannia, followed by the Philharmonic. Um, the last one is the, the Kukubura. It's just not very impressive in terms of the face value because the conversion um, to, well, it just doesn't have a high, high enough face value. If this had just a little more face value, it wouldn't be last, but it only has one Australia dollar which is about 77 cents US dollars. So now the Fiji Taku that has um, a, one Fiji dollar currently is only worth like 48 cents US, but if you'll notice the face value is two Fiji dollars. So that's why that one is ranked higher than the koala. Anyways, so this is just a very simple way of looking at things. Um, you can add more columns like I do in other rankings because this obviously does not take into account um, things like the resale factor, premiums, and you know obviously those very important issues. It just looks at metal value, face value in dollars, and combines them to get a total value. It also ignores numismatic um, issues also, which of course you want to take all all of that 
uh, more complex things into account, those additional factors, before you buy or sell or whatever. But this is just a way, you know, you can list out, you know, the most common coins in this column. List things like face value, metal value, total value, numismatic value, resaleability. I mean, whatever you want and get an overall ranking. Okay, so that's all I got for now, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.